Hey everyone, welcome. So today's tutorial is on the Imperial Sentinel class landing craft, which is one that I've struggled to make for a long, long time. I think I've finally uh, settled on a version that I like. You can even see one of the older versions here to the left. Now there are two distinct versions of the Sentinel. There's kind of the, the old Legends version where the body is uh, quite tapered down here. You've got like uh, uh, a head that's very, very different to the Lambda and the, the window is at the front. Whereas in the new canon, which was... Uh, I think first seen in Star Wars Rebels, by the way. Um, the design has changed a lot. It's become more more bulky and rounded. Um, there's an entrance ramp under the nose here. Um, there's, what else? There's like a lot of Lambda-inspired stuff. Um, so like the vents here on the side, on this top half. The whole top half has been built up a lot more, as you can see, between the two. Um, and then even this one, the, the Legends version, like between artists, it just changes in appearance and sizes and everything pretty much every single time it's seen so it is a tricky one to do because there isn't really a, a set version of it this particular model that i've done is based on the orthographic images um basically blueprints made by raven deviant on deviant art um, i just didn't include the extra weapons that he added um so it's basically just the unarmed model here um and like the main thing I think on his that's different from the regular Sentinel as it's been seen before is the inclusion of this kind of neck brace where the uh, the head connects to the body. Most versions just have the head up there and then straight to the body. There's n none of this bit here which I, I never thought really made much sense. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really nice model. Make sure to check out Raven Deviant on DeviantArt.com. You've got both the flight model here and the landed model and there is a interior on this. Uh, so if you jump up the landing ramps here, you can see two seats there. Um, the seats, there's meant to be about 54 minimum seats. Now where each of these are, I know there's only three stairs, but it is meant to re represent four seats. Um, because realistically a seat isn't like an entire meter wide, it's probably a little bit less. So, you know, three meters doesn't equal three seats, it equals, you know, four. So you've got four there, four there, four there, four here. Uh, this is three here. And then same on this side, um, and then it, it, I think it does equal about 50 something, it might not be exact, but yeah. The interior is alright, um, there's a blank space here, so what would go in this gap here is some speeder bikes based on the internal views I've seen of the Sentinel. Uh, I don't have a one-to-one -one speeder bike model, I probably never will, it would just be too difficult to make. Um, but you can add anything else back here, maybe some more seats or just storage crates, there is just space for you to play around with. There's also a door here. Um, with a bit of extra space in the back, you do have to remove a few blocks. Um, but there is more space to play with. I just kind of went with a sort of basic interior for this one. Um, and that is on both models, obviously. We are going to do in the tutorial a similar thing to what we did in the uh, last video, I think it was, the Ahsoka's uh, T6 shuttle, where we make the main body all as one section. So all of this and the top wing will be one section. And then we're going to go back and then do kind of a branching path based on what d design you want to use. If you want the landed one, then you'd obviously uh, skip to the landed part of the video. And then if you want the flight model, you can skip to the flight part of the video. Um, to begin with, there will be a, a slight pre-build section where basically you have to build it a certain amount of layers off the ground if you want to do the flight model and a certain amount of layers off the ground if you want to do the landed model. But I'll show you that now because we're going to move on to the build. So let's, let's go, I guess. <laughs> Right, so first of all, before we start building, you're going to want to decide if you want this thing uh, landed or if you want it in the flight mode. Now, if you're in flight mode and you're just building in space or whatever, you can you can just do that straight up. Uh, you don't really need to do any prep. I've got this tutorial pad here, so I'm going to do a bit of prep. Um, and if you are doing this on the ground layer uh, with the wings touching the ground, basically, you want to do eight blocks. So I'm using uh, sponge as a temporary block here, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that'll be the build I'm working on first, because that's the uh, the flight model. I will be doing a separate, well not separate, but um, I'll be doing the landed model as a separate one at the end so that you can see both together. But if you're doing the landed model, I'm just going to do it temporarily over here. You want two blocks, and this is where the first block would go. Um, and that first block is a block of iron, so that'll be where we basically put the landed model. Um, but then back to the main one, remember, A up like that. Just eight single blocks of uh, temporary block and then iron block. 
that is going to be the first block of the build. Uh, the front of the build is the green line, and where the arrows are pointing, the red line is the back of the build, and where the arrows are not pointing. Um, materials wise, I'm just going to grab this back. We're going to need block of quartz, block of iron, calcite, white wool, clay, quartz slab, smooth stone slab, polished diorite slab, polished deep slate slab, and then stone block and quartz stairs. Towards the front of the build, three more iron blocks. Um, and I will say, for this build in particular, there's a lot of like just white buildings. So you've got obviously these four blocks here. Clay is a little bit more easy to distinguish, but just bear in mind which blocks you're placing. It doesn't overly matter because at the end of the day, most of these are just detailing, like um, like Greblin basically, and you can just do them randomly. But for the sake of tutorial purposes, to make it easier, I do it exactly as it is on my reference, but you are free to mix them up if you wish. So to the left side of the build, and I, one other thing I'll mention is this uh, solid green line here is the center line. So anything that we do on the left is also going to be copied onto the right because the build is symmetrical. Two white wool there on the very left iron block. Block of quartz in the gap. In fact, I think it's a smooth quartz, not a block of quartz. Um, my apologies, smooth quartz block. One of those there. Calcite, one, two, three. White wool there. Smooth quartz block here. Two calcite there. Smooth quartz block, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to take the clay. One, two, two there. Calcite, two more clay. And then with the white wool, just one in this gap. Um, white wool here, smooth quartz, white wool. And then smooth quartz, one, two, three, four. We're going to take the stone block real quick. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So one other modification that we'll do with the landed mode is our landing gear. So these stone blocks will get destroyed for that version, but not for this one. These are just kind of the impression of where the landing gear will tuck into. Okay. Um... Right, next step, put a clay block just there. White wool here. White wool on this side. And then calcite. Clay. Calcite. Two uh, smooth quartz block, and then one white wool. So you should have two left over. Um, there will be an extra one to the right, because obviously that's the center line. I'm going to take the polished deep slate slabs, come to the wool here, and do one, two, three, four, five top half ones. Um, for this build in particular, I will, normally I do like uh, the other half off camera. I'm trying to think if that's a good idea for this one. Um, I'm not sure. While I think about that, we're going to take the quartz slabs and just do one and two here like this. Both top half. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to do just the left half for this for this layer at least, just the left half, and then everything will get copied over the center line. Um, it'll get easier towards you know the middle to the end of the build, and we will definitely do both halves then, but yeah, for this one, I'm just going to do the left-hand side. Um, take the smooth stone slab top half, bring those all the way across, just like that. We're going to take the polished diorite slabs. That's three along the center line. Skip four and do three here. So you should have four gap there, three gap here, and then the polished uh, deep slate slabs. With the quartz slab now, just normal quartz um, slab, not smooth quartz. Three, three, and three, all top half, and then three, 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 and three again. But remember, everything on this side will need to get copied over, just reiterating that again. We need the stone block. We're going to do the back landing gear now. There's one, two, three, one, two, three. Take the smooth stone slab, bring this all the way across again in this gap, right the middle line. Need the iron block, one, two, three. Smooth quartz, one, two, three, one, two. Iron block there. White wool in that gap. Calcite, white wool, one, two. 
one, two, three, four. That should take you up to the stone. Um, calcite, white wool, calcite, two smooth quartz blocks, and then calcite on the right, quartz on the left. Take the quartz stairs now, upside down, one, two, three, four, five, three there. And then we're also gonna add two here. So you should have like a little notch right in the middle there. Three upside down stairs here. And then that's gonna corner around and go all the way to the center line, just like that. The very front, we're gonna need two more materials, which I did actually forget. Um, one is cyan terracotta, one, two, and then a third one on the other side, but we're just doing the left-hand side for now. And then we will need the polished deep slate stairs, one, two, and then obviously a third one here. In fact, I'll just do both of those, just so you can see that it's three of those. And that's right down the center line, like that. So if you copy all of that over onto the other side so it, it mirrors it, but basically, then um, you can move on to the next layer up. So yeah, I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So if you've done all of that right, it should look just like this. Um, with that little notch down the middle. And yeah, like I said, three of those in the center line. And yeah, that's it for layer one. Let's move on up to layer number two. Okay, so start this one off with the polished deep slate slabs. They're gonna go just on top of these stairs that we did last layer. We also need the polished deep slate four block. So I'm gonna grab that. You wanna do three cyan terracotta next to the slabs. Three polished deep slate, three cyan, three polished deep slate and keep doing that until we have a total of four sets of polished deep slate. So that's three and that's four. Um, and you should also have four sets of cyan. You can put that away for now. Um, here we go. We'll also need the polished deep slate wall on this layer. Um, and just keep the other materials around because we'll need them all again. Um, whether it be now or later on in the build. Take the calcite, we're going to put that just there and there on that side. Need the uh, smooth quartz block, one and two. And then the quartz stairs upside down, just there, and another one there as well. We are going to add two more materials, the iron trap door and the birch trap door. So iron trap door is just going to go there on the back of the stair, and again. And then the birch one is going to go here and flip it down and there as well and flip it down. So you should, should have this so far, basically. Um, diorite walls, you want these. One, two, one, two. Now we're going to take the dispenser. So just, uh, you can either use the dispenser or the, the dropper if you wish. It doesn't matter either way. But you want to have them facing this way. So with the... Um, with the like grey and silver side facing towards the the walls so you can see the well, sorry no the other way around the grey and silver side facing towards the front so that the the face doesn't show basically throw that way okay we need the uh, quartz stairs again one two of those the quartz slab uh, one there and then one two three so you should have this. All right, uh, I'm gonna put some of those away for now. We need the clay, we need the cyan, because uh, we're gonna do the interior walls now. Clay there and there. Um, take the wall back a second, actually. That right wall just on either side. And we're gonna do all of the cyan. We'll just get this out of the way. So starting from these clay here, going towards the back, there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the second one along, so this one here, from the right, I mean, I guess fourth from the left. One, two, three, uh, four. And then you're going to add three more, so five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should just go to where the stone ends. Skip one from here. So we did the, the line of five. Skip one, do one there, and one there as well. One inwards, one inwards. Polished diorite wall here. 
with a cyan behind it. Do a set of two and two. Two and two. On this inside one, one, two, three, four, five. And then again, one, two, three, four, five. On this one here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three there, three here, and then this one goes all the way across and joins up with the front one. Just like that. Obviously this is a little different on the landed mode because the side doors will open, but again I'll show you that on the landed mode when we when we get there. Um, take the polished deep slate wall, do five of those there. Five of those here. And you can put the polished deep slate wall away for this layer. We're going to take the stairs back out. And we're going to do some of the chairs, well, all of the chairs now. Three there. Skip one, three the other way. Three that way, and then three this way. Then if you go to this side, one, two. One, two, and then just do the same thing. Three, three that way, three this way, and then three that way. Should look like this. For the floor detail, take the carpets, the light gray ones. Three there, three there. Three in this gap, three in this gap. Three, three again. Again, three this way. Then just over on this side, you can do three there. Bring that all the way to the front, so it just sort of looks like that. For the kind of back area of the of the troop bay, I kind of left it blank, so you can do what you want with it. Um, like I said, you could put if you if you made your own one to one speeder. First of all, I commend you. It's uh, not easy, but um, if you do have one, yeah, you can go in here. Um, so yeah. Right, that's basically it for the interior detail. We need the observers now. I'm going to do one there and one here. Have the arrows facing towards the front this time. Normally I use the uh, the side detail. I like that. I don't like this front face normally. But for this one in particular, it works. There's like little red lights um, in this little gap on the front face of the body. So that's what we've got. Throw those away. Grey concrete. We need just two of those. One and two, throw that away for now, uh, mangrove fence gate just in the middle there, flip it, in the middle there and flip it, and then we're also going to take the birch trap doors once more, I think I already got them actually, there we go, just uh, one there, one that way, one there and one that way, with the diorite wall, there's one here, one there as well and I think these need to be flipped up I, I think maybe the observers flip them down automatically but yeah they should be like that and again one two just like so I shouldn't have thrown that away um, put the sign away for now we can put the birch trap door away for now as well in fact no we're gonna do one more thing with the birch and then we'll put it away two calcite two calcite there and then just put the birch trap door flip it and again there and flip it put that away for now right calcite here and here white wool white wool court stairs one there and one that way we need to uh, get the polished diorite slab one and two Two white wool, one clay, and again like that. Then on the back side here, calcite, white wool, polished diorite slab, and then quartz stairs facing backwards. Just like that. New material, we just need them uh, twice on this layer white stained glass pane just behind the stairs one and two and we need uh, to do a, a few more like white materials here i'm going to start with the smooth quartz block calcite 
white wool, three clay, calcite, white wool, clay, calcite. You should now be down your center line, so it's just a case of mirroring that over um, to the other side. One, two, three. Then the white wool, calcite, and quartz block. Smooth. And yeah, that's it for layer number two. Um, let's move on to layer number three. All right, for layer number three, take the quartz again. We're going to do the second layer of the interior. Um, so we're going to add two cyan there and there. Two here, two here. You notice that we've left a gap. Let me show you why. Just a bit of an interior lighting so that it's not too dark in there. And um, there's just one top half slab here, one there as well. And then we're going to take the sea lantern. Don't use sea lanterns all that often anymore because of the introduction of the flo uh, frog lights, which we do use the frog lights on this build, but um, sea lanterns are used for the interior. So there we go, that's the sea lantern. Cyan, just along the same rows as we did before, really. Um, until we get to here. I'm going to leave it there for now and um, just do the same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then cross to about there. Um, another cyan here with a polished deep slate wall on top. Cyan at one, two, three, four, five, five again there. And this is one, two, three, four, um, and five here. One, two, three, four, five of them here like that. Okay, so it should be just in line with that one, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it should just be four there. Okay, one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four again. Take the polished deep slate stairs. That's one, two, three, four, five upside down ones. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Then we need the slabs. We're going to take the um, quartz one and the polished diorite slab. Top half quartz, two top half polished diorite. Just like that. Okay. Clay, one and two, one and two. Smooth quartz block on the right here. Three calcite. We actually need a pillar quartz block, which I very, very rarely use. I don't think I've ever used it. Maybe maybe in the lander, actually. Maybe in the lander tutorial. But yeah, pillar quartz like that. And again, just there. We'll do the other blocks while we're here as well. Three calcite and a smooth quartz. We also need a quartz pillar on this side, just there. And there, and we can get rid of those now. I think it's only those four on the entire build. Um, two white wool there, clay, white wool here, clay inwards, and then a diorite wall just goes there and we're going to leave it there for now. Do the same on this side, one and wall, um, wool here, clay, two white wool. Just need that uh, white stained glass pane again, just one there, one there as well. Put that away for now. Quartz stairs just here. Um, two quartz slabs. And then a polished diorite slab. And polished diorite slab here. And four quartz slabs. Again, one, one there, one, two. And then a quartz stair there. Okay. Before we move any further, I'm going to take the birch signs, finish the interior, and like main layers off. Two birch signs there, one on this side. One, two, three, and four along the back wall. Sorry about the flickering, obviously I have to click off every sign once I place it. There's four along the back wall here. Two there. None on this bit. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Um, and then on this inside wall here, actually, there's, in fact, put a white wall first there and there, and then birch signs, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
And then just do the same on this side, obviously. One, two, three, four, five. Um, two there. And then just the ones around this edge. Two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four here. So yeah, not too fun to do that part, but it's it's done now. I think, oh, missed a little bit. <laughs> one, one, two. I think that's all of them. So yeah, um, gonna come to here, play, smooth quartz block. And then taking the quartz stairs, we need one, two, three, four, quartz slab. Again, one, two, three, four, quartz slab, like that. All right, that's the main body done for this one. We do actually start the rear engine section as well. Um, I'd say this is like one of the most difficult layers in the build. But it's not overly hard. This build is, I'd say, more similar to the sort of style I used to use. It's not, there's no crazy techniques. It's, it's all just straight up building, really. Um, stem brick wall goes there, polished deep slate wall, stem brick wall, polished deep slate wall, and again do the same, one, two, three, and four. We're actually going to add dark oak trap doors. Uh, the reason for this is because otherwise the corridor will not be wide enough to, to fit down. Now there is meant to be six pilot, well, I think five or six seats in the front area. Just because of the thickness of the Minecraft blocks, I couldn't really make it work like I could probably make the, the head of it wider and bulkier and not use slabs and stairs um, and you would be able to fit more seats in but then the exterior would look bad but then if I do the exterior looking good the interior suffers and that's kind of what happened on this one the exterior I think is kind of more important so you need a stair there, a stair here as well um, and then a clay block on either side Calcite block on either side. A upside down quartz stair, one and two. And then normal stair facing inwards, one and two. We need the diorite wall. There's going to be two of them there. Two of them here. Take the upside down quartz stairs. That's one there. One there. Then we are going to take our quartz slab. Where this polished deep plate one is, top half slab there and there. And then a quartz stairs facing towards that, both upside down, like this. Finally, one more quartz stair facing outwards, upside down, like that. And one there facing that way. All right, wall here and here. And then also a birch fence gate just there and flip it there and flip it so you can just see the, the taper of the head now um, which is good there is a custom banner pattern on this one I forgot to mention it at the start of the layer because I normally normally do grab them at the start of the layer so I'm just going to grab it from the other model and show you which one it is if you just it might be a bit of a jump cut but yeah you'll you'll know it's right so I've grabbed the the custom banner now it's a white a, a well a black banner with white per inverted so you just uh, take a black banner some white dye stick it in the loom and find whichever one says white perfess inverted um, and that just goes there and there this represents kind of the side windows it's not perfect they should be a little longer but it's the best I could do really with the scale if I do make this in two to one which I um, I do intend on doing I think it's gonna uh, come out absolutely incredible we'll, we'll wait and see so we'll keep that down here for now, ready for the material list later in the uh, well, not later, the later tonight when I make it. Um, throw that away. We need the black concrete for the start of the actual uh, cockpit glass. There's going to be three of those here. We also need a uh, polished black stone slab. Three of those, and then we need black carpet. Just two of those, one, two. And that's the uh, cockpit, uh, I can't speak, cockpit glass done, I think. Or maybe there might be a, an extra bit 
uh, on the next lay, but I guess we'll see. Um, that's going to be it for the front section, so now we'll do the uh, the back section here. Lots of slab building. Um, first we'll do the connecting part, so there's going to be a smooth quartz calcite times four. Smooth quartz clay calcite, that should be down your center line, and then we'll just do the same again. Um, so clay, quartz, full calcite, and then one quartz. Right, slab building time. So we take the, these are all top half slabs, by the way. None of these are going to be bottom half slabs. So it just saves me saying top half slab every time. Um, we'll start with the quartz ones. One there next to the calcite there as well. And then take the polished diorite slab and just join those two up. Like that. Two more polished diorite slabs. One, two, one, two. And then take them again. Down the center line here, we're going to add uh, eight of them. So down the center line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you should have nine in total, including the, the original one here. Taking the uh, quartz slab, one, two, three, 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 and three. Just like that. We need the smooth stone full block now. Now this is only for the flight mode because it does change slightly in the landed mode. But what I'm going to do is basically build it in the flight mode and then take it off once we do the landed mode and replace it with different blocks. Um, so there's two smooth stone here. Take the polished diorite slab, bring this across up to just there. So where the first smooth stone is. We'll do the same on this side. One, two, and then bring this across. And then we're gonna do the second set of smooth stone, one, two, and one, two, like that. Okay. So essentially why these are full blocks is because they will taper downwards into the wings, which then kind of taper obviously down to the ground. Um, the flight mode, sorry, the landed mode has them facing upwards. So on the top side of this back section, they will be kind of rotated around. But I'll show you when we do the landed section because I'm just over explaining it now. Calcite in that gap, calcite again, and then a block of iron. Just like that. On this outside block here, another uh, smooth quartz, iron, and then top half quartz slab. Okay, take the polished diorite slab, go to here, bring this outwards, and it should join up with that. And you're going to add two extra there. And again, one, two, and then join this up like that. And in these gaps, uh, oh yeah, my eyes tricked me there. I thought I did an extra block. But yeah, um, just quartz slabs to fill these in, basically. Like that. Last thing, iron trapdoor, you just need to do these along the back, ready to do the engines. Skip the first block, well, slab, and then all the way across, skipping that last slab. It should look like this. And yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. Uh, it's not actually, there's one more thing. Just noticed it before I nearly pressed end. Some top half slabs there, all quartz, and again, there's five of those there. Mm, yeah, that's that's everything. Let's move on. Right, for this one, taking the cyan terracotta, we're going to get these out of the way. And um, this is like the last layer of the inside. Um, there's not as many cyan blocks because it tapers up and cuts them off. Um, but yeah, we're just going to start with two of them here, two of them here, and then join those up. You don't need a wall this time, that's the, the top of the door basically. Um, one, two, three, four, five and six and then two down again one two three four five six two down there do one two three four five and six there one two three four five six there three here and three here and that's all the sign you'll need to do um we're going to take the slab so the polished diorite and the 
quartz ones. I'm going to get these out of the way. Um, basically, these cover up all the interior so that you're not just seeing uh, the roof. There's also a lot of snow layers on top of the build. These help support that so that the snow layers don't just disappear, I guess. Um, I'm going to do the back row of, of quartz labs first. Um, you can do three there. And then one extra. Bring this all the way across. One there as well. One, two, three, four, five. Five again. Uh, two. The thing is, right, I, this room is unused. I haven't put anything he, in here, but you can use it. Um, you can just do five across here. Polished diorite slab, one, two, three, four, five. Quartz slab, one, two, three, four, five. And again, just keep doing that. And then this one's seven. So just like that. So yeah, this room, like I said, is, is unused. But you can use it for like power generators or something for the engine. Uh, or more storage if you like. Two top half slabs here. The polished diorite ones as well, one and two. Iron trap door, you want to add one and two there. And then one, two, three, four. And we're just going to grab the stone block before we do the fifth one. But stone block there and there. And then the iron trap door here. One, two, three, four, five there. And just another one on the fourth one along like that. Okay, so it should look like this. For the outside here, we're going to take the slabs back again. Um, I'll do the diorite ones to get these out of the way. There's just one here. And then two there. So again, two here and one there. Now the rest of these are going to be just normal quartz. So I'm just going to count them out. There's uh, two. Two there. Five, six, seven. Three. One, three, three. So two, two, two. This goes all the way across. And then two in that gap, two in that gap. Um, and then this is a white wool just there. White wool there. And then just another row. Well, four quartz ones. Smooth stone slab just here. Quartz slab, smooth stone slab. And then quartz slab again. One, two, three, four. White wool here. So four. Uh, four there. Smooth, smooth. Quartz in the middle. We also need a quartz stairs. We're going to add that just here. There as well. Three white wool. Three white wool. Taking the quartz slab now. Bottom half one here. Two, three, four, five, six. Smooth stone slab. Quartz slab. Smooth stone slab. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I think this was meant to have something on top of it because the, there are snow layers here. Um, so I'm just going to put a cyan terracotta there. And the same on this side, another cyan like that. Okay. Take the iron trap doors, we'll get these out of the way. There's just one of them there, so where the pillar quartz are. And again, there as well. And on this side, uh, one and two. And we'll just do the slabs on this side as well. So quartz slab just there. Two, three, four, five, six. Smooth stone quartz, smooth stone. One, two, three, four. Oh, five. Uh, there's a little bit up here as well. We're going to take the quartz stairs just here. Quartz lab next to it. It's there. Um, not there, actually. Where is it? Oh, it is there. So one stair just here. Slab next to it. Okay, now we'll take our snow layers. So like I said, I use these for a bit more depth and detail on the, on the outside here. There's uh, three single snow layers there. Five there. And then one, two, three, four. And then a double layer of... Or is it, no, it's a triple one, I think. Yeah, triple snow layer there. Single snow layer for the rest. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh, white stained glass paint on top of the diorite wall. 
white wool on both sides here. Uh, clay, just one, two. Calcite three, calcite three. White wool, calcite, white wool, calcite, white wool. So the body is now pretty much entirely sealed in. You can see in here you've got no gaps uh, left over, which is good. So we'll do the, the back section here first, then we'll do the, the head of the ship. I think this is the most difficult layer out of all of them. Um, because there's just a lot of filling in to do really, to support the uh, snow layers up top. So this center line, there's nothing on it. You can add something, I might add something in there just for build support. I'm gonna use a line of cyan terracotta, just three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. And then the white wall just here. So down the first bit here on the left hand side, you're gonna do clay, white wall, smooth quartz, and bring that smooth quartz outwards, two, three, four, five. Clay there, smooth quartz, one, two, three. Sorry about that background noise there if you heard that. Uh, calcite, white wall. Two clay there, two white wool here, calcite there. I'll just quickly do this on the other side. One, two, white wool, uh, smooth quartz, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Calcite, white wool, one, two, three. Two clay, one calcite. Um, you're gonna skip one or you, again, you can fill this in with something. I might do that, uh, just to have no gaps. One, two, three, four, five, cyan. Skip one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, smooth stone block. Just gonna go here and here, there and there. So for this one, two clay, start off with that. A white wool, two smooth quartz, one calcite, two clay. White wool, two smooth quartz, one calcite. And then this back section, we'll do, we'll do it differently. We'll do all of one material at a time. So clay, just do one, two, three, one, two, three. One there next to the smooth stone. Calcite, one to the left here, two there. One, two there. Um, white wool, just a single one. Just here, there as well. And then these ones are smooth quartz. One, uh, one here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one here, one here. Notice we've got a gap of five left. These are gonna be the uh, pearlescent frog lights. Yes, that's the one. The one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Need the light blue stained glass pane. One, two, three, four, five. Five again. And that's the engines done. Diorite wall now. One, three here. One, three here. Three here. One, three here. One on the back. And then uh, iron bars. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Coming to the front end, I'm going to take the iron bars again. One there, calcite, iron bar here. Again, one and two like that. Put the iron bars away. We'll need the polished andesite stairs. Next to the stone block, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put those away. Um, clay block here, two white wool. We need the white stained glass pane. One there, one there. And then a birch trap door. Just here, flip it down. There, flip that one there. Upside down quartz stairs, just next to the glass. Um, I fell off the build. One, two like that. Iron trapdoors in the middle. 
one, two, three. Just making the max amount of headroom basically for the the pilot seats. There really is not much room in here, despite what the um, interior shots normally show. It just really isn't possible with with the amount of space um, in Minecraft. Quartz slab, one, two. Polished, uh, nope, smooth stain slab actually there. Like I said, if I do a two to one scale model, then I will add a really cool interior cockpit, but yeah, we just have to wait until then. Calcite on each of those with a, like a standard white banner basically, just there and there as well. Finally, three polished black stain slabs, one, two, three like that, and that is the uh, final cockpit block, so we can get rid of that now. And uh, that's going to do it for that layer. So once again, let's move on up. The next layer should cover all interior um, that we've got so far, I think. Uh, maybe not the cockpit, I don't know. But yeah, it's looking looking good so far. Let's move on up. All right, for this one, we're going to start at the back. We're going to take the white carpet. Start with uh, one there in the middle and then add five on each side. So five and then so you're just covering up those uh, light blue stained glass panes. Quartz slab now we need a fair amount of these. We're gonna do one, two, three here, three here, join those up. You should be covering those uh, pearlescent frog lights now. Smooth stained slab there, one there as well, one there as well, one there as well. And we're also gonna take a lever. Just one here, one here facing that way, one again, and one again. They should all be facing towards the slabs that we just placed. Port slab again, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then this will join up. We are gonna knock out the middle ones though, that one, and replace it with a polished diorite slab. That one as well, do the same. And then join those polished diorite rows up like that. Do four of the quartz slabs here, four there, four there, four there as well. A single quartz slab here and here. And we're going to take the snow layers, not the white carpet, the snow layers. Now this bit requires just a little bit of, I guess, I don't even know what to call it. Um, just basically dealing with a boring situation. We're going to do five snow layers in each of these on every single open one. I'll show you all of them. You hear a lot of mouse clicking. So five. Four should take to the red slab. Sorry about the dog jump scare there if uh, if that got you. Five yeah, takes us a little bit past the slab. So five again. Five, 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 and five. And again, just keep doing that until we've done all of them, which takes a little while, but um, it just adds a little bit more detail to the to the back area. So there we go. So a lot of the models of the Sentinel that I've seen do have kind of like a concave bit inwards. So it kind of, there's like two round bits on the ends and it sort of curves inwards very slightly. This one doesn't really do that, um, but I'm staying faithful to Raven Deviant's model, apart from not including the uh, the guns on like most of the ship. So there we go, that's that's that. Um, and then snow layers again to taper down to the body. Now the on this particular model, um, the kind of back engine section and the the actual body, very very slightly like raised up on this back bit compared to the front, um, and it was hard to pull that off. So I have used the snow layers again, and this is one two three. Uh, no, sorry, one, two, three of them, and then three, 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 all the way across, even where the polished diorite slabs are, all the way to uh, to just there. But yeah, this, this build does utilize a lot of snow. I'm just telling you. Three um, iron trap doors. We need the polished diorite uh, full block. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Quartz stairs on the third one, and there again. Iron trap doors, 
one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Snow layer again here. This time we're going to do one, two, and oops, one, two, three, and four. Just going to replace that. There we go. Iron block one, two, three. Quartz stairs three. Quartz stairs three. Snow layers again. One, two, and so it's just two, two, and two. Uh, we need the quartz slab just here. And then we're going to leave that there for now. Uh, white carpets, we'll get these out of the way. So there's two of them here, two of them here. Just be careful, obviously, um, it blends in with the white wall. But yeah, there's two of them there, three of them here, three there. Um, a diagonal from this stair here, that's three, three, three again, three, three, and three. And then next to these iron trap doors, that's two, two, and two. Again, like that. Take the iron trap doors once more, by the way, just on top of the, um, well, kind of between the slab, the smooth thin slab and the uh, carpets, there's two iron trap doors. Right, the rest, it's up to you how you want to do this. So you can use carpets, but I've used snow layers once more. Um, and there's just a single snow layer the entire way around this time. Um, it's going to be four, two, 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 three here. One, two, three here. Um, oh, I did forget some iron trap doors, by the way. There's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Snow layers, one, two two, three, four here, <laughs> two there, two there, two there, one, two, three, four, five. Remembering these are all single snow layers. Snow layer here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's just covering pretty much everything apart from these end uh, stone slabs. But again, you can do this all the way across to there, one, two, three, four, five, three, three, one, two, three, four, three here, three there, Four, two, two, and two. There we go. So yeah, that's the the main body mostly done. Uh, well, the main body is done now. It's the top wing now that we need to do on this part, and so is the back area. I think uh, cockpit's got like two more layers, but they're not difficult at all. Gonna need the andesite wall this time. This is kind of like the neck connector piece. Two of them there. Two of them here, and an iron bar on either side. Need the uh, the white wool one and one there next to the iron bars. Clay next to that. Quartz stairs facing inwards, and again. Need the lever, just one there, one there facing inwards. And we're also going to take quartz slabs one, two, three, four, five, and then the trusty snow layers again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's just five sets of two, uh, two layers. Smooth stone slab, two top half ones, two top half ones and a quartz slab. And then here we just need the stone stairs this time. Just a few of these. Two upside down stone stairs there, two here as well. And then a smooth stone slab in the middle. Okay. The very last thing for this layer is just the uh, the white banners again. Two of them there, and two of them there. Okay, so that's going to be it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. Okay, for this one, we're going to start at the cockpit here, finish this off. Just need the quartz stairs to begin with. Two of them there, two of them, in fact, sorry, there. Two of them here. Quartz slab, one, two. Two again and then three of the polished diorite slabs in the middle. Just like that. Take the lever. We're actually doing the top wing now. So that doesn't change between the two models. The top wing is always the same. Um, single lever just there facing backwards on that final polished diorite before the snow layers. That's a good starting point. Um, we are going to do the polished diorite stairs first. 
We need them upside down. Just one there like that. Um, I'm going to do this top wing in a similar style to kind of the, uh, the back section where we just do all of one material, or at least we try to. Um, well, not mm, I'll do it for the most part. There will be areas where we can't do it, which is actually at the start. We're going to do a smooth quartz here next to the stair. Two white wool, two smooth quartz on top, and then white wool on top of that. We'll do the iron block here. One, two, three, four, five. Two to the left, and then come to this one here. One, two, three, four, five. Smooth quartz block there, white wool, calcite. Smooth quartz, white wool. Five iron blocks on top of those, like that. Um, oh, in fact, now I've done that. Ah, right, hang on. Let me. You want to move that all to one to the left, basically. So uh, smooth quartz there, and then the white wool, then the calcite, then the smooth quartz again, and then the white wool. So it should overhang very slightly. And then the five blocks of iron on top of that. It should look like this. Two calcite on the left. We want the diorite wall. One, two. Four iron blocks on top. Three white wall to the left here. Three calcite, one on top. White wall here. And then two smooth quartz blocks on top of that. So it should look like this. It doesn't really look like much at the minute. Um, take the smooth quartz, come to the underside here, smooth quartz block, calcite block, white wall, calcite, and then an upside down polished diorite stairs. Take the polished diorite. In fact, now I'm going to do the iron block first. So where these stairs go, iron block here, one, two, three, iron block all the way to the top. So just to where we got here, plus one. Three diorite walls and then a polished diorite. Smooth stone slab, one, two, three, four, five. Take the polished diorite, we're going to add one just here, there, there as well, there as well. Um, just add a calcite and then another polished diorite block and then another upside down polished diorite stairs. And one more diorite wall. Diorite wall here, again, 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 and again. This is a white banner with a grey pail. Very simple. Again, use the loom, make this, and we're just going to do this all the way down on each of the full blocks. Not putting it on the walls, just the full blocks. Helps that transition between the walls and the blocks, and also provides a nice banner pattern for the front of the uh, of the wing. White wall, one, two, three, four in this gap. Smooth quartz block. And then we need the polished diorite. One, two, three. Uh, iron bars, we need two of those on each side. Just a bit of uh, support for the wing. One, two. One, two. I'm going to put this and switch this out with the normal white banner. Just a second because we need standard white banner just there. And on this side, we're also going to add another uh, white banner just there on the calcite, and again just there. Okay. Polished out right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just all the way to the top, basically, like that. You want um, calcite in this gap, and then diorite walls the rest of the way up, like that. Once again, take that uh, grey pale white banner, and this goes on every single block, apart from the last one. So just like that, obviously skipping this one, otherwise it would hang down. And yeah, that's the, the top side wing done. Um, and that's actually the conclusion of the kind of base model, without any set of wings. Like I said, we're going to do the flight one first. What I'm going to do uh, between takes is actually duplicate this. This is kind of like your, like I said, base model where you can go either way with it. Obviously, if you're doing landed model, like I said at the start of the video, you would have wanted to have made this 
two blocks off the ground. So the first iron block would, like I said, be here. Um, but yeah, we'll do the flight mode. I'm gonna duplicate this and then you'll, you'll see what happens next, basically. So yeah, on to the uh, wings of the flight mode. Right, so to start off the flight mode wings, we'll be doing the left wing um, basically on its own and then the right wing. We'll just copy over our camera. It's just, again, a simple case of mirroring. See the uh, landed mode over here. Two, again, two blocks off the ground, ready for the landing gear and the uh, upright wings as well. Um, so we're gonna come to, to here basically where we got this little bit that sticks out. Um, I'm gonna do a single clay block here, make that two. Smooth stone, clay, smooth stone, two clay, a polished iron stairs, and then a polished iron slabs on the left and one on the right as well. Now to make this easier, I'm going to take a temporary block. I'm going to use the sponge, and I'm just going to go to say here and do one there, and then do a diagonal one. Again, diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Keep doing that until you reach the ground. So just like that. The reason why I do this is because these are all upside down stairs facing outwards. It's going to be hard to place them without some sort of support there. It means a lot of like messing about really. Take the polished all right stairs first of all. And these are going to go below those sponge blocks or temporary blocks all the way to the ground as well. Two more here and then a corner one. This one's one, two, three more here, and then a corner one. This one's going to be a quartz stairs, polished all right stairs, quartz stairs, polished all right stairs, not a corner one that time. This one is a polished all right stairs, one, two, quartz stairs, one, two, and then a standard stair like this with the polished all right. This one is a quartz one, um, polished three quartz ones here, and then a corner one. Uh, so we should have four left, so one, two, three, four, as you can see. Uh, this one is a quartz stairs, polished stone stairs this time, one, two, three, polished stairs here. Quartz stairs there, polished two quartz, one polished, quartz here, normal polished, uh, quartz, polished, two quartz ones, and then polished again, two quartz again, and this one's a corner polished, and then quartz stairs one, polished, two quartz stairs, polished, two quartz stairs, and one normal polished. It should look like this. Delete the temporary blocks now, you don't need those. You can do the same on the other side in preparation for, for when we do that. Off camera, of course. Um, lever, take that, we're gonna put one just there and on this smooth stone as well. And now I kind of cheated, I guess, with the way that I did these wings. Um, so obviously these top side ones have that line of detail. To help smooth out the um, the actual like line of the wings here, Instead of like using more stairs and made it, making the wings too thick, basically I've, I've used levers like a lot. So on each of these blocks is a lever. And it actually looks all right from most like distances. It looks pretty good. Um, and same here, you're just doing it on the polished diorite ones, so not on any of the quartz blocks um, until you get to there. And yeah, it, it doesn't look much when you're really up close. It looks really like kind of messy. But then when you zoom out a bit more, it, it genuinely does look like the taper is a lot better. Um, so yeah, I, I think we did it the opposite way around on the lamp on the lambda shuttle where the the stairs were normal, so they weren't upside down. They were like uh, built like that. But then obviously the, the underside of the wings then was less smooth. And I think from most angles you're gonna see that side of the wings a bit more in terms of the actual angle, the wings going upwards. So I think it's a little better this way. And if I do the lambda again, I might do the same thing. And um, take the white carpet. These are just a little bit of extra detail. One, two, skip that one. One there, one there, one there, and one there. 
that's all the white carpets you'll need. You'll also need grey carpets. In fact, no, you won't. I thought I used them, but I guess I didn't. Never mind. Yeah, that's it for the wings then. Um, so we're going to copy that over now. I'm going to also delete the temporary blocks. And I'm going to show you what that looks like completed, and then we'll move on to the landed mode. So yeah, let's uh, have a look at the finished thing. Okay, so both sides of the wings are now done. Pretty cool stuff. And um, so this is the completed model really for the flight mode. We're gonna now do the landed mode, starting with the landing gear, and then we'll also do the, the wings. So it's a little bit a little bit more work, but it's fine. The overall product is sort of worth it. But yeah, let's move on to that. Right, so moving on to the landed mode. Um, we're gonna go down to here where these stone blocks are, delete the stone blocks, replace these two with stairs like that. And this is a deep slate tile stairs, two deep slate tile walls, a gray concrete, polished underside stairs on the front and back, and then two, well, three <laughs> smooth stone slabs on both sides. And that's the front left foot. Same again here. So stairs, two tile walls, gray concrete, polished underside stairs front and back, three here, three here. And we'll do the same on the other side, no worries. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stairs, stairs, tile walls, tile walls. Gray concrete, gray concrete. Polished underside stairs on either side. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Three again, and three again. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the kind of troop ramps on the side where they would exit the body from. Delete these five quartz slabs here. Delete these five walls. Delete these five uh, cyan. And take the polished deep slate slab, delete those, and replace them with bottom half ones. We're also gonna delete these uh, snow layers temporarily. Get that and the iron trap doors. So delete those five stairs Add iron trap doors here, so five of them, and then replace the snow layers. We'll do the same here, five, delete those, move these down by half a slab. Five slabs there go, and then these ones are just replaced. Just like that. So you can see you've got the opening hatch now, but you want to have the Obviously, hatch going downwards where the troops would come from. We're going to take the polished deep slate stairs, which I've gotten rid of now. Of course, I have. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Lever on the left and right one. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Lever there and there. And then, last bit for these ramps are the dark oak trap doors and you also need gray carpets. So just do a temporary block, I guess. Um, dark oak trap door, one, two, three, four, five. Gray carpets, one, two, three, four, five. And again, uh, temporary, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So those are your side doors. So we're now gonna do the landed mode wings so I'm going to be back in a second to get the materials for those, and then we'll be done. So, there we go. Right, so we're going to do the left wing only, and then copy that over onto the other side. And um, There's a little bit of prep first. So these blocks here, I'm going to replace uh, that one with a polished diorite slab, and that one as well. Uh, delete these two, replace these two as well. This middle one replace with a quartz slab, and then these two with smooth stone slabs. Delete these lib... Uh, I can't speak, and <laughs> levers one and two. Smooth stone, two blocks here, two blocks here. And then iron bar on both of those. We're also gonna replace the iron bars below with andesite walls, so just like that. Okay. Clay block, one, two. One there, one up. Two to the left. And then polished diorite, we need one and two here. Take the polished diorite slab, just one there on the back, well, front I guess, one there on that side. Polished diorite on top of the smooth stone, one, two, three. 
polished our right on top of this clay here. One, two, three, four, just basically all the way up. We want to make it about uh, 10 for now. I'm going to leave it about there. I don't know how many that is, but it's about right. Um, and then same again on this side. We're just going to bring that up to about the same level. Just about that. Kind of leave it approximately there. Uh, and then we can figure that out now, exactly how many it is. White wool, iron block, smooth quartz block, iron block, clay. White wool, smooth quartz, iron block, calcite, white wool, clay, and then polished arrow. So I somehow got that right, but I guess it was a fluke. I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway, two polished eye right there, so just skipping one down. Iron block clay, two polished eye right again. Uh, calcite, two iron, one to the left. Smooth stone calcite, two polished eye right there. You can see we're just making a taper of sorts. Um, calcite in this gap, polished eye right there. Smooth quartz under it. Iron block under that. Smooth quartz white wool. Iron block white wool. And then polished diorite. And then we're just going to take the diorite walls and do one there, two, three, four, five, and then six like that. So now we've got both of those. I'm going to grab the white banner again. Do one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has got the design of the gray pale, by the way. All the way to the top. And then on each of these as well. Uh, except that last one, actually. Leave that last one. Just a single lever you want to put on this wall here. Well, block, flip down. We need the stone block. One, two, three. Iron block, smooth quartz, calcite, smooth, uh, no, white wool, and then iron block in this gap. And uh, yeah, that's the, the left wing done. We're going to copy that over onto the right, and then we're going to do the build showcase for the obviously completed build. Um, so I'll just give, give you a quick, uh, I can't speak, I'll give you a quick look at the inside now it's finished. Um, again, you can, we have some more carpets here actually, I'm going to do that. I don't know if that was meant to be that way. But these, this back area I will keep uh, clear just in case you want to put storage in there. But yeah, everything else can get carpeted. I like having the smooth stone. It just breaks up the the uh, light grey carpets a bit. Um, let's see if I throw that away. So copy the, the wing over to the other side. Remember to do the underside bits here as well. Um, the bottom should end up like completely flat, basically. Um, so yeah, copy that over. We're back in a second. Right, okay, so this is both builds now completed. Um, like I said, it's first time building a Sentinel. I think it came out really nicely. Um, definitely would be interested to see what it looks like in 2 to 1, but it's uh, another Imperial ship for the collection. I think a lot of people will enjoy this. I know people have asked for this before. It's funny, I, I did so many live streams in the past of me trying to make a 2 to 1 Sentinel, and I just end up getting distracted by the, <laughs> by the stream chat, and it never went anywhere. So I, I definitely do need to do a 2 to 1 Sentinel and actually finish it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please make use of the interior. Um, I'd, I'd like to see people having like battles with their friends and stuff, and dropping people off in servers, things like that. It'd just be really interesting to see, you know, a lot of role playing stuff. Um, so yeah, again, thanks to Raven Deviant for making the autographic images of his Sentinel model, which were a big inspiration for this. Um, and yeah, let me know what you want to see next. I didn't put the shaders on. I always put the shaders on. How do I forget that? Um, I have to put the shaders on because I use that as my um, timestamp for when I put the post-build showcase card on the screen. So it's probably going to be like super late now. Wow, that's bright. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, Sentinel Shuttle. Flight. Landed. And the build um, wasn't overly difficult. I know it was a bit tiring with all the materials, but we got there. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'll see you again, and have a great day.
Goodbye. Hey guys, before the video ends, I just wanted to let you know about my new schematic store. This is a place where you can download builds from the past, from tutorials that are out now, and even preview builds from the future. Link is in the description. Go and have a look, see if there's anything you like. And yeah, see ya.